Hello friends, welcome back to channel. Today we will talk about this error. We are showing no supported authentication method available. Server sent public key with MIC. So why we are getting this error? So today when I was working on our office, I got a call that we are not able to log in the server whenever they are entering username and password, they are getting this error. So to find out, I did some troubleshooting that I am going to show you. So whenever you see no supported authentication method means that user is not getting authenticated. So might be password got explored or something. So in that case, we have to log in a server using console because we are not able to SSH. So we'll log in as a root user. And first thing we have to check SS service status SSHD. So it's running port number this thing we are getting all the details so now we have to check why we are not getting authenticated so for that ssh file we have etc ssh ssd underscore config file here if you search for a password because password is not working so as you can see it's showing password authentication no means with password it won't work so we have to make it yes okay and we come out of this server and then we will restart the service because without restarting service it won't help you it won't load the details now we'll come out of this server and we'll try to do SSH using this so now you are able to see it's showing we have logged in so why we are having this problem because some user by mistaken has type I've made some changes etc ssd ssd underscore config file and past wd so by mistake password take is yes they have made no and restart their service so whenever you see no authentication method available that means system is not getting any authentication method like password is not there or key base also is not working so something will be there so you have to check ssh file only and what's the best practice before making any changes take a backup of file because that will be easy to roll back so we'll take it back up here only ssd ssd underscore config and you can put hyphen okay and today's date like 21 09 20 23 now if you do anything like if i disable it by mistaken again password if i say by mistake or by knowingly if i'm doing say no and restart the service so this session will not add but new session we will not be able to take let's see Putty, the IP address of this server 192.168.1.106 username Amit or root see this is the thing so if you are having backup you can log into the server console and easily you can do cp slash etc or you can do diff what's the difference between these two files etc ssd ssd underscore hd underscore config and etc ssh ssd underscore config underscore hyphen so it's showing in ssh config it was no and config backup file it was yes so that's the problem now password authentication is no so we have to make the changes again so what we can do we can avoid it and do else we can restore this file using cp slash etc ssd ssd underscore config hyphen okay not hyphen this this is a source so from source we'll put it on etc ssd ssd underscore config replace the file now it should work but won't because we haven't restarted the service now we will restart the service 
and it will take effect. Now we will try to restart the putty session again. IP 192.168.1.106 user Amit password Amit user see now it's working. So that's how whenever you face some issue no more authentication method found and we are not able to log in try to check the config file and if you are not getting anything what you can do you can check the history file who has restarted the service and when they have restarted the service or you will come to know who has logged into that particular time frame everything using last command also so this is how you can troubleshoot hope this is adding some value to your knowledge so keep learning see you in next video till then bye bye